All right, we're back with the second match. And we won the roll, so we will play first. I think this is a good hand. We have some decent early plays on turn three, and we have some power stuff, powerful stuff to do later too. So we'll keep. We can play everything in our hand as long as we draw two more lands. And well, depending on what he's playing, it, that's going to affect what it is we drop on turn three, whether the Nighthawk or the Reckoner. The fact that he's leading with the tur first turn Mountain uh, makes me think it's probably going to be the Reckoner. Ah, oh, yeah, he's playing green, red aggro. My leg fell asleep. Can't move it. Ah. So, yeah. We're definitely playing the Reckoner here, so we can two for one him on his stuff. I mean, his best play here is to, I mean, probably, uh, what's his name, the four four guy. Yeah, I've. Completely gone blank on what that 4-4 four four dude's... I'm going to look it up or it's going to drive me crazy. So, attacking with a 3-3. Three three. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find out right now what it's called. Nope. I have to know. Sorry. Gruel. Why did I forget? Uh, uh, this drives me crazy. So he's got his own Reckoner. Not too worried about that. Would like to draw lands. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to play a key rune. I could put the Nighthawk there. Gore Clan Rampager. That's what he's called. I can't believe I forgot that. It's right on the tip of my tongue. So we'll take three here. got a second Reckoner. So there's our fifth land. I think I like playing a Blood Baron here. I'll take two to play it. If he attacks, I'll block the Noble. Just because I don't want this guy to get bigger. Probably has a Rampager at this point. Yeah. So we'll take three here. Options, what do I have? I can play Nighthawk and I can block with Kirun. That might be better than playing another Blood Baron or an Obsidot. I gotta clear off these Reckoners. He's got one card in his hand. But it could be burned for the Kirun, which makes my play a lot worse. I think I'm gonna go with another Blood Baron. If he's got another Gore Clan, then uh, he's probably going to win this game. My Blood Baron lives through the turn. I'm going to drop an Obzet next turn. If it doesn't, then I'm going to drop the Nighthawk. Okay, so he just passes. So, what can I do? I can attack here. He can block, kill my Blood Baron. Oh, he can block and double first strike. That's even worse. So, I think I'm just going to play an Obsidot here. Uh, 
and I'm going to pass the turn. We'll exile it. Not sure if that's the right choice, but. He's drawing lands, which is good for me. Looks like he is going to attack this turn. Just the Stromkirks. Uh, let's go ahead and kill one of these. Probably has a Searing Spear. That's probably why he did that. Yeah. So, Obzad comes back, we go up to 19. Now we can play a Vampire Nighthawk. And I think we can kill both of his Reckoners here. Now let's see, if we attack, he double blocks, double first strikes, we Warlord his Helix, one of them. He can't redirect it to the Obzadat. No, he would still keep one Reckoner, so that's not good enough. I think we're just going to play the Nighthawk. And pass the turn. Exiling. And our opponent concedes. So we did manage to stabilize that game. Uh, our match is going to look a lot better post board. And I think that uh, this deck has been very tuned towards dealing with aggro decks, so I like our chances post board. Um, Blasphemous Act is going to be not very good, though, if he is going to have a lot of Boros Reckoners in play again. So, anyway, you can take out the Rakdos' return again, Rail is going to come out again. One, maybe two assembles, we'll start with one. That's going to buy us both Temblers and a Liliana. I think I'm going to cut, go down to one Blasphemous Act. I like to keep one in there. But seeing he's playing Reckoner, it's not that great. And I think I am going to cut this other assemble so I can have... Would I rather have a third Liliana or would I rather have another two mana uh, kill spell? And I actually think I'd rather have a 2-mana kill spell this time. So let's go ahead and run with this, see how we do. And we're going to be on the draw this time, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted that 2-mana kill spell, just so we can kill anything he's got as early as possible. Preserve our life total. Yeah, this deck does have a lot of good ways to, to gain life, which is to our benefit. I mean, we are running obs two Obsidots, four Blood Barons, three Nighthawks, four Warriors Helix, three, seven, eight, nine. That's 13 cards right there. If I can count right. Uh, this hand's fine. It, none of our lands come into play untapped, which is not very good, but we do have two two mana kill spells and we have a rolling templar and he doesn't have a turn one play obviously playing the dragon skull summit first so I can pillar whatever he has turn two he has nothing Interesting. Well, we're going to go ahead and pillar that. Next turn, I hope hopefully he plays. He just has nothing. Well, we will continue to just play lands and pass then. Go ahead and keep getting rid of his stuff. All right, so there is a land that will make all our other lands come into play untapped. So let's go ahead and play a Reckoner here. That'll be good defense. Of course, if he has a Searing Spear, and seeing as he hasn't had very many creatures, he probably does, then this is not a very good play here. 
but we're not going to have too many other opportunities to play it. So hopefully we draw one more land so uh, uh, we can uh, play our Obzot. Yeah, so he had the Searing Spear, like I got. So I could play the Olivia here, but it would be vulnerable to another Searing Spear. Do I want to do that? I don't think I do. Just because it's so good against his deck, I think I'm fine waiting. He's got a Reckoner here. So we did draw a land for Obzadat, who I think I want to play first. I'm fine taking some damage. So he's going to attack here. Maybe not, since I have an Obzot in play. No, he's going to hang back. Which is going to be rough for him, since I'm going to Dreadbore this. And this is probably going to be game here. We're pretty close to it. Let's go ahead and play a Nighthawk here. So our opponent concedes. We just had... He, he had a bad draw that second game. And we have too many ways to gain life in this deck. As I just demonstrated. Anyways, back for the third match in a second. <laughs> 